What's up guys, today I'm working on this Volvo semi truck with a D13 engine. This one came in with a bunch of lights on here in the dash, the traction control light was on, the check warning light was on, and there was some malfunctions with the ABS showing. Um, so what I did was hooked up my laptop and pulled the codes and there was a code for 1067. Now the driver seeing this is going to be freaked out because he's going to think there's a bunch of things wrong with this truck. But um, it's not that big of an issue actually. So first thing, all you got to do is take this panel off. And there's actually one sensor right here. A little close up here, I'll show you guys. So it's this one here that says E1. And it's pointing to this sensor right here. So what you got to do is take off the plug and we got to replace this sensor with a new one. So as you can see, I took the sensor's plug off here. And uh, I'm going to show you guys a little close up over here of how it looks and what, how I get it off. So you just get a screwdriver and just push down on the bottom part and pull it out just like that. As you can see, this is the old one. I'm going to grab the new one. Here's the new one. I'm going to pull out of the bag. And just gonna install this one right in so what I like to do is always compare the old one with the new one just make sure it looks the same everything is exactly the same no differences and this one is completely identical so I'm just gonna pop it right in push it in make sure it's all the way tight and then all you gotta do is just stick the plug right back in Sometimes you have to twist the sensor around to make the direction right for the plug to go in properly as you can see how I did. And just like that, everything is good. And once again, here's a little quick close up of the sensor itself. Just remember that it's the one that was labeled E1. All right, so after you guys get the sensor installed, what you're gonna wanna do is start the truck up and make sure the air is completely full. And with the ignition on, we hold down the brake pedal for about 10 seconds and that should recalibrate the whole system and these lights should go away. So what I'm going to do now is hold down the brake pedal for about 10 seconds and see what happens. So as you can see here, I'm pressing down the brake pedal all the way down. Make sure you guys do press it all the way down, otherwise it does not calibrate properly sometimes. And you'll be wondering why the lights are not going away. And here you have it. Everything is calibrated again. All the lights in the dash have gone away and that's pretty much it for the whole job. Easy as that, just the sensor change and then you press the brake down for about 10 seconds after your um, air pressures are all full and then you should be good to go. And then last but not least, you just put this last panel back on. Just one little screw thingy right here. Just tighten it all the way back up. That should be good to go. these two clips just hammer it back in and one last screw here on the side that you just tighten up and there you go that's it for the job and um, that's how you fix SPN 1067